Hi guys, it's me. Hi. Well, today we're gonna be playing on Zombie Smasher. Got this game what two months ago? Maybe a bit more. When it first came out, well, two weeks after it came out. Been playing it ever since. Creation mod myself. Some other mod mod as well. But today. Going to normal campaign. Um, if you don't already know, I'm Zombie Smash basically. That's it's got it, really. Um, old style zombie shooter, sort of. Top down view. Basically, you place your place units, barricades, helicopters, things like that. Then just let it run. You can increase the time, things like that. Unlock special power-ups. Have to say. So get straight into it. Just a normal campaign. None of these modifiers are. Might do one later, but don't know. I'll let you guys read this. You can always pause the video as well. Now, this here, um, this just tells you optional things that happen every month. As you can tell right now, it's January 1921. I've never actually found out what this is. Um, leave a comment thinking what you, what you think it is. Tell down here it'll when you hover over one of these uh, it'll show you what level it is the max without any mods you can go up to is for lowest obviously one and you can see down here what it what reward do the mercenaries population is way good to try and evacuate and difficulty one easiest two not so bad three hard four four there's no population you just got kill the zombies basically now what I found is that after a few weeks of playing, uh, where you place a helicopter is crucial, especially in the late levels, especially the game speed. That could be a change. Um, I tend to place it over here, but as you'll see up here, it will change after planning first. As you can see up here, this shows that uh, how many seconds left in daytime. After daytime, zombies spawn all around these areas. It's not getting that many seconds to snow. Here's the TV for zombies. When it comes into contact with the yellow, it's more likely to be But what I found out recently is you can move it. As you can see, the zombies just swarm around everywhere. At the top right, you can see how many we have to rest. And how many we have to rest. How many we have to rest. So make sure. Here you can see what experience you mercenary have. Different versions have different upgrades depending on how they've leveled up. So look, now it looks like we've got some, well, an artillery cannon. Now, for every territory we control, Every month we get 20 points, but the zombies, however many zombie territories in the level of perfection, they also get points. And this is where don't it? We're yellow, the purple, as you can see they're leading by about... We're trailing by 34. And these 
my darts, these are special things on what after so many points. So after 700 points we get research labs and scientists are unlocked. But for now, let's continue to get up. As you can see it's going to send away now. Uh, it's changed now, zombies move a bit slow. In the top right you can see what immersive we can take into an e-track zone. Or battle. As you can see the weather effects are kind of good. Now, with some units you have to place them on buildings. But you can only place them on certain ones. Um, the danger close means basically where you can't fire. Um, they all do. Now all you can do with artillery is jump out too off from there. Right, go Daytime, so if it was a mini, it might be reduced to like 50 seconds instead. So let's try La Foesia. 